So this is an anniversary clock that I'm fixing for my mom. Uh, it's, a, it's called an anniversary clock because on the back here, it um, lasts. Once you wind this baby up, it lasts um, apparently up to one year without you having to wind it. And we've got these uh, weighted four beads, uh, which I'll grab in a moment. But I've taken some of this apart because this uh, spring here is uh, bad. It's broken, but I thought it'd be kind of fun um, to watch time go backwards or forward. <laughs> I took our little uh, TikTok guy out. I had to take him out because uh, I got to replace the spring. Um, so uh, unfortunately, what looks like it happened is the spring here. Let me see if I can let me zoom. Focus in a little bit. You can see that it just sheared right off. There it is. Came right off of that. And here's that part. So I'll have to see if I can grab a special spring. And uh, we've got this weighted portion here. Um, you know, we're supposed to slowly go back and forth. But I noticed that this guy here, this clip, which the spring connects up to and then goes in here and then lifts it up slightly so it kind of hovers. This is actually cracked, so I'm not sure uh, if this is going to affect the performance at all. It, it's certainly strong enough to, you know, hold on to the mass, so we'll see. I don't know. I'll have to look that up, see if I can find one. Uh, I saw a book online for these springs alone, and, you know, these are pretty specialized springs. And um, I saw one that had like 50 pages, and you had to measure the distance, I'm sorry, the length and the width, so... Luckily, I've got a micrometer, if that's what I need to do to measure that, so uh, fortunate there. So I'll have to get at least another one of these springs, and, you know, if I can get some of these uh, T-bar style holders and new screws, I'll do that as well, because uh, they look like they've been beat up a little bit. Anyway, I thought it might be kind of fun to watch time fly here. It really is a beautiful clock, and if I bring this guy here, obviously, that's not the way it really works, but... And I've got this nice globe here. <laughs> Don't we wish work could just go that fast uh, sometimes? And we can bring, maybe I'll take this globe out so you don't see my reflection. You can really zoom in here and kind of take stock of these beautiful gears. And they're in perfect condition. Um, we can see actually this one tilting back and forth a little bit, so I may have to adjust that. Typically these go much, much slower, so that play that you see isn't probably going to cause really any issue. Uh, but I won't know that until we get a spring in there. And it looks like, I thought that was rust, but it's uh, just uh, grease or gunk or something, so I may have to clean that off a little bit. It's an interesting how much play that has there. I'll definitely have to address that. Um, so, you know, this is an anniversary clock, so 365 uh, days. So you charge it once, and apparently it's supposed to last that long. So this means that we should see this guy running around for at least, you know, good 700 times uh, since it goes around uh, once every 12 hours. So one, two, three, four. <laughs> I guess that's one way to test it. <laughs> and uh, if we take a look on the back side here, of course the large spring that you wind us in, which is right here, uh, is within this canister here. There's a whole bunch of all around here. So uh, I don't. Luckily, I don't need to take that apart. I wouldn't want to. But you know, pretty, pretty interesting when this works. This, uh, I'm supposed to ride up a little bit and uh, turn so when it when it works. So it's very beautiful. So order that spring, and hopefully I'll be able to make another video if I can get a hold of the right spring and uh, show you what this beauty looks like once it works. Uh, funny story about this clock is my mom uh, worked for two years at this place, and that was it. And they gave her an anniversary clock, so. Uh, it's kind of strange. <laughs> Thanks for watching.